Hi everyone! Welcome back to another video with Wonderful Boys. And today, we are in KL, Malaysia. Mm -hmm. And the hotel that we are checking in today is... The St. Regis, Kuala Lumpur. Yep. And this hotel is located maybe 5 minutes walk away from uh, KL Central Station itself. And KL Central Station is the main railway station that connects to other city of uh, Malaysia. Mm -hmm. And to come to this station from airport, you can take the KLA Express, which is about 30 minutes or so. And if you take by private car, which is what we did, it took about 15 minutes or so, so depending on the traffic condition. Yeah. And if you want to actually have some shopping option, a food option, there is a new central mall just nearby. Mm -hmm. So maybe we'll give you some video of it. Yeah. Yep. And the room that we got today is? The Caroline Astor Suite. Mm. And this suite is massive, it's about 136 square meters and it has a very big living space. So there's a living room, dining area, as well as a work desk. And uh, the whole room is, uh, itself is actually very grand. It's actually very nice. And uh, we also love the bathroom that this room has. It's really great. So we're going to show you the room later, as well as the facilities that the hotel has to offer if the weather and time permits, uh, which I think they have a nice swimming pool as well as a fitness center. And uh, also dining highlights, I think we're going for the breakfast. We heard that the breakfast at the brasserie is actually um, quite good. So we're excited for that. Mm. So if you actually like our content, please help us to click the like button. You help us uh, a lot because uh, you improve the YouTube algorithm. And if you have yet to subscribe, please click below the yeah. subscribe button. Just below. Yep. And also turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified when a new video comes out. Yeah. So without further ado, shall we check out the room? Yep. Let's, Let's go. go. Oh, hi, you are here. Yeah, so we are at St. Regis. Uh, this is the Caroline Astor Suite, Lake Garden View. Okay, um, yeah, so this is uh, the work guest area where we are doing some work now. Okay, so this room is about 136 square meters. It's actually quite big. In fact, you'll see it's like really big. Okay, so uh, let me bring you to the main area where we uh, have the welcome area. Right over here is the entrance to the room, the suite actually. So this is a whole welcome area, right? You can, your guests can actually put your shoes. And also there's a, um, a powder room over here. If you don't want to let your guests use the main bathroom, you can use a, uh, just a simple powder room over here. Yeah. So uh, moving forward, right? Um, this whole area is actually the main uh, living room area. So um, there is a living room, dining area, and also the workspace, uh, workspace area that we saw just now and also uh, a lot of space for you to book your stuff. Um, if you want to read, you can read as well. And remember, this is um, most of the rooms are actually not smoking, lah, I would say. So please don't smoke. If not, the fine is 1,500 ringgit per day. Okay? Yep. So um, the workers area, very simple. Um, a very wide uh, area for you to put your stuff. It comes with also um, a care pack, two actually. Okay, a telephone, um, some uh, memo uh, you're going to write and even a, a stationery box but it's empty lah. I think if you need paper, you can actually ask from them. Yep. So just beside it, uh, it's a dining area. It's good for four. And I would say actually it's really quite a big table. In fact, if you want to have more seat, right, you can pull from the work desk area. Yep, so you can probably sit like six. Yep. And just right beside it is the mini bar or pantry area. So I like the design of it, it's like the chest, you know, the chest side kind of um, design. So um, this uh, area comes with a coffee machine, kettle, um, cups. Below here is a mini fridge with uh, items, but of course it's chargeable. And over here you can find um, coffee stuff, sugar, creamer, here's a capsule, tea bag as well, and also some snacks. You take only really some snacks and it's chargeable. Yeah, so um, moving forward is the living space area, the living room, sorry. Yeah, so over here you can see there's a quite a huge TV with a huge sitting area. In fact, right, um, this sofa is really so long. If you are of my size, you can probably sit like, let's do it, test. One of me, 
two of me, three, four, and five of me. It's really big and six, seven, if you want to utilize the whole space, behind the chair. A lot of space for you to uh, entertain guests. Okay, and also, um, oh yeah, if you look at, we actually have um, ordered some uh, drinks. Actually, because St. Regis, um, they come with a butler service. It's a 24 hour service and um, per guest per day can get two drinks, um, coffee, tea, but the tea, it comes in a pot and one pot is two serving. So if you order for tea, means the full day quota heat ready lah. Don't need to order anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So uh that's it for the main living room area. And uh oh yeah. If you want to control the curtain, right, it's actually um uh remote. So over here, just beside the entrance, huh? Okay, over here you can control the curtains. Um okay. If you want to open, you wanna close. Okay, and also day curtain and night curtain. Lah. Okay, and so here got different uh, selection of the mood of the light that you want. There's a master, relax, night and bright. Of course, bright will be very bright. Lah. Okay. Okay, so let's check out the bedroom next. So this is the main bedroom area. So it's really quite spacious over here. You can see like a lot of space for you to move around and all that. It comes with a king size bed. And beside the two uh, sides, it comes with um, also a control panel for you to control the lights and also the curtain. Okay, like we mentioned just now outside, right? Both sides would also have their own power point, so you don't have to charge from one side only, which is very good. And a lot of storage space on both sides as well. Drawers. Yep. And right in front of the bed, of course, is the big S TV. I'm not sure about the size, maybe 40 over size or inches. And um, some power points below, some stuff lah. So if you want to put some of your uh, like I don't know switch or something you can pull inside and if you want to connect HDMI um, you can actually pull this out and just attach directly. Yep. And uh, right beside the TV they have this um, sofa like a lounge area within the bedroom. It's a bit tough but not too bad. Yep with a view lah. Lake. Garden lake view which we'll show you later on view okay yeah and also um the uh, telephone over here memo pad if you not enough outside you can use it here okay and also reading lights on top actually i find that uh, overall the feel of this bedroom is really quite uh, nice also yep so next up is the um, working closet so over here this side you can see that um it's really quite spacious the whole working wardrobe is really very spacious um, there's an extra pillow over here a luggage rack, bedroom slipper on the floor, and uh, all the hangers over here, bath rope. Okay, and of course the vanity area just right in the middle. And on the other side of the working uh, wardrobe is where you can put more of your luggages. Sorry, luggage. Okay, and below more space, on top more space. And if you need more hanging space, over here. But there's limited hangers, so I'm not sure why you need so much hanging space. Okay, so next up. I'm very excited to show you the toilet. To my surprise, actually, the room comes with the in room spa room. Yeah, and in fact, right, you can have a lot of storage space inside as well. There's cabinets and all that. Actually, if you quarrel with your partner, right, you don't worry because they have a bed here. So don't worry, got no space to sleep. Even if you know, don't want to sleep here, the sofa quite big lah, five of me. I'm sure enough space for you to sleep. Yeah. So the toilet, I'm very excited to show you. It's the marble toilet, which I love. Okay. So it's a double vanity over here. Don't have to fight. And also the WC is just behind, of course. And um, the WC comes with bidet. Fantastic. Okay, and the vanities over here. Small towels. And also the standard stuff, toothbrush and all that. And I meant they use this remedy. Okay. So very nice marble uh, design, big mirror, big space. And also next up, we will show you the bathroom, the main bathroom area. So this whole area, it's like a wet area. Just now was a dry area. So over here, there's um, a rear shower head, handout shower, and also the bathtub, which comes with a view of the 
garden lake view which I don't really see the garden lake maybe because we are low floor but then then you shouldn't name it like that lah I feel well what to do yep I'm very excited to use the oh one more thing I think St. Regis bathtub always have a TV in front so maybe we'll show you a snippet of it later on yeah so that's about it for this Caroline is so sweet St. Regis uh, in KL so um, it's very big, very spacious, very nice design, and I feel very clean. Yep. So um, we'll also be showing you, um, if the time permits or whatever permits, the swimming pool, the gym, and whatever amenities um, the hotel has as well, and also the dining options later on. All right. Hi. So I'm going to show you the uh, pool deck area as well as the fitness center a bit later. So I'm standing here at this like a restaurant bar, which actually overlooks the the pool. As you can see, there's some seating area over here for the restaurant and bar. You can have some drinks and enjoy the outdoor. And on my right hand side or on your left hand side, it's actually one of the two pools that is available here. So this is actually, you can say it's like an infinity pool. So if we come down, we actually see that uh, it has, some, uh, I wouldn't say a nice view, but it has some view of the greenery. It supposedly is the uh, lake garden view that we're supposed to have, but it's obstructed by all these trees. And uh, some, uh, we can see some sun decks here as well which actually looks uh, pretty nice have a suntan if there's sun, like now and on your right hand side there's some like a sitting area where you can actually have like your, a bit of a dining in uh, which also might be uh, quite nice okay so I'm going to head over to the back and this is actually where the other uh, pool is as you can see that uh, the business here is not as good as the one that's in front uh, probably because there's no view if you have looked from, from where you are uh, there are some uh, sun beds here and also I would say it's like a half cabana There's no shelter there But I think if you want to do some laps, I think this might be uh, a decent pool Alright, so next up I'm going to show you a quick look at the fitness centre And uh, yeah, I'll see you later Okay, so we're basically at the fitness centre And actually when you come in, you actually have this like a welcome area where you can check in And also there are some bottled water as well as towels for you to use one thing I like about this particular fitness centre is that there are chilled water which is actually makes a lot of difference when you're working out Right, so let's have a quick look at the, uh, the gym So here are all the equipment, this is for the legs Quite extensive and quite new equipment This is for the, the chest, right here And um, we'll continue going forward, you have more equipment here Free weights are over there I think that the, the, the range is quite good, I think they have until 25 kilos and there are also lighter ones over there and over here is the cardio equipment which are, you know, you can do cycling you can do running, Is over there, the treadmill over there and if you go uh, further inside uh, this is the, I would say a studio there are lots of mirrors here so you can do like a dancing or your class, choreograph and it actually overlooks the pool right over there yeah, so that's about it for the fitness centre Right, good morning. So we're now at the brasserie, which is the in-house restaurant uh, for breakfast. And um, as you can see, it's actually a buffet spread. So actually very, very nice. And you can actually go to the uh, individual counters and basically order what you want. Although it's a semi-assisted buffet, they, you can actually choose what you want and just scoop it for you. So when you first seated, they actually give you like, um, ask you what kind of beverage that you want. There's hot beverages like the uh, coffee tea. And also you can actually have the uh, juices which you can help yourself at the counter. So there's a lot of options available. So uh, let's move in straight to the food items. And um, we can see that, uh, let's, we can start off with the local item here, which is the nasi lemak. This is the uh, a, a Malaysian kind of dish, which actually is very nice. It comes with a coconut uh, rice with the pandan chicken. It comes with the, the chi uh, sambal prawns, as well as uh, some of the condiments at the side. So another local option that you can opt for is the fried rice and the fried noodles. This is the kampung fried rice, which is actually uh, their uh, own local uh, blend of the fried rice as well as the noodles. And also again, it comes with the pandan chicken. 
and the uh, sambal prawns, which is also looks uh, very, very nice. Uh, you can also opt for something that is uh, a bit more um, Indian. This is the uh, roti chanai with the wadai, and it comes with the dal, or you can choose the curry if you would like. Another option is the porridge, and the porridge, as you can see, um, is also pretty nice. It comes with the condiments, as you expect from a, a porridge. There are also a good selection of the dim sum. I think this is the pandan uh, pao. I think it's red bean inside. There's a siu mai as well. It's available. So something that uh, a bit of Chinese uh, food that you like, uh, this would be uh, might be nice. So moving on to the Western uh, breakfast, where maybe we are used to it. Let's take a look at this uh, eggs done your way. You can have in this case the omelet, uh, mixed omelet, and it comes with the different kind of sides that you have, like a hash browns. Uh, you can also have this one, you can see vegetables, uh, sausages, chicken sausage, as well as uh, potatoes. Uh, if you would like to have a scrambled egg instead, here is uh, the plate. Again, the size you can choose uh, what kind of size that you want. Of course, um, there's also uh, something that's also pretty nice, which is uh, the beef as well as the, ch uh, the chicken here. It's very Western kind of uh, food for breakfast. You don't really see this for breakfast. Yeah, so can't wait to have that. And of course, to wrap things up, you can go for fresh fruits. There's actually a lot, a good selection of fruits that are available. Uh, you can basically choose what you want and you scoop it for you. Of course, if you would like something sweet like me, then you would go for the waffles. Uh, it comes with uh, all kinds of like uh, uh, sauces, uh, sauce, uh, maybe chocolate, maple syrup, and um, yeah, lots of things that you can uh, pair with like icing as well, sugar icing. Yeah, so that's uh, roughly uh, what the breakfast is. It's between the hours of 6.30 to 10 in the morning every day. It's a, a assisted buffet style, so you can eat as much as you want. So um, yeah, now we'll see you uh, later when we summarize our entire stay. So bye-bye. Okay, so we're just about to check out here from our stay at the St. Regis Kuala Lumpur. So I think it's a good time for us to give a quick summary about our entire stay. Let's first talk about the check-in experience. How do you find it? I think it's okay. Um, quite smooth, I would say. Even though there isn't really much people uh, checking in at the time that we are here, um, we did wait for like five minutes or so, maybe because they are actually occupied with uh, current check-in uh, people. Mm. So after that, they immediately attended to us. And the staff that attended to us actually quite friendly. And uh, he knows um, the things that he needs to explain to us, the timings and all that, the meal timing, and also um, things that we need to book if you want to go for a swimming pool and all that. Yeah, even the staff um, just beside the table beside were also quite friendly. He actually came over to say hi to us and all that. Yeah, and mm. importantly is that the uh, he explained very well, I thought. Yeah, and uh, also with Saint Regis, see the checking experience is like a seated experience, so you don't actually need to stand up. I think hotels should try to employ this kind of a check-in mm. experience. Yeah. Okay, so moving on to the room, we actually stayed at the Caroline Astor Suite, which was actually very very big. It's about one hundred thirty-six square meters or so. Yes, a living space with a dining uh, table as well as a work desk. And there's also a bedroom as you separated, a walk-in wardrobe, um, a bathroom, a very nice bathroom, as well as even a massage room. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how do you find it? Um, to be honest, I'm quite uh, surprised the room is this big. I mean, I know it's 136, but I didn't know it's this big. Like, you will not, wherever you go, you will not lock onto things because like there's enough space, there's uh, ample space for you to move around. Mm. The toilet, I tell you, it's amazing. I love the toilet because I love the hot shower. I love the whole area. You can move around very freely. And most importantly, the toilet bowl has got heated bidet. And I tell you, it really enhanced experience. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I think the, the room itself is very big. Not, not just the size, but I think it's also very well furnished and de decorated. Uh, it just uh, give a very posh feel about this entire room. And there are lots of storages, which can be a good or a bad thing. It depends mm -hmm. on if you have a lot of things to store. Because you have to check, before you check out, you have to check every single one of them to make sure you didn't leave anything behind. I think our things are all over the room yeah. right now. But if you're having like some sort of like a party or gathering, I think this is a quite, quite a good space to, to have. Or if you have uh, extended family members, you know, the room are sleeping in the living room, then I think that's also quite good. Yeah. Mm. And uh, okay, so that's about the room. We can also move on to talk about the facilities. And we actually went to the uh, swimming pool. The swimming pool, actually, there are two pools. One is, I mean, I, could, I would say that it's something like an infinity pool overlooking some greeneries. Maybe, yeah. And another one at the back, which actually uh, is more of a lab pool. Yeah. 
So how do you find the entire area? Uh, it's not a big pool, but it's not that small, so I think it's okay. Mm. Um, but there isn't really much sun when we were there, so uh, don't know how it's like actually. Yeah. Mm, overall, I think it's okay. That um, it's not very crowded at the time when we were there. Yeah. So, but still, you need to book a slot. Yeah, mm. and uh, also the fitness center is well equipped. Um, there are lots of uh, uh, equipment available, and uh, the best part is that um, whenever we were there, it's empty. Mm. <laughs> so. Uh, maybe people people that don't work out. Yeah, uh, yeah. So it's, so it's quite good. I think it's well equipped. Yeah, and uh, okay. So let's move on uh, to the breakfast. We had the breakfast at the brasserie restaurant, mm. which is on the second floor of the hotel. So uh, it's a it's a full buffet setting, and um, I thought the variety was quite quite good. Right? How, mm. how do you find that? The variety is good. Um, the quality of it is is quite nice as well. Mm -hmm. Um. And let me just read the scrambled egg that uh, I always eat. Scrambled eggs for them is a little bit um, slightly drier on this. Uh, uh, yeah, slightly dry. I would say maybe three point eight out of five. <laughs> yeah, but still overall, it's a very pleasant experience. The staff is very friendly. They will approach you. Uh, is there anything else we can get for you? Like oranges? Mm -hmm. Oh, oranges. Um, juices. Basically, they have um, those carton ones and also fresh squeezed ones. Mm -hmm. So. Um, Always ask for the freshly squeezed one. It's yeah. better. Right. Uh, they also have, um, how do we say, it? like a lot of pastries on, on display. Um, all kind of cuisine, Chinese, uh, Indian, and of course the Malaysian kind of uh, mm. food. So really, surely there's something that's, that's there for you. Yeah. Um, but it's like a semi-assisted buffet, meaning to say that you basically choose what you want, but they actually scoop it out for you. I think it's because uh, for for hygiene mm. uh, reasons during this COVID pandemic period. Yeah. Mm. So I think overall it's quite good. Uh, overall stay is actually quite good. Any complaints that you have? Uh, not really. Um, apart that, um, the butler service, right? Um, they do help you do things like uh, help you press your t-shirt, shirts, uh, help you get drink because there's two complimentary drink per person per day. Mm. Um, but they don't have to prepare the bath. I mean, yeah, we can do it, do it ourselves. But of course, we would like someone to do it for us. You know, um, sometimes you just want to be lazy, but you want to be pampered because you want to enjoy the bath. Mm. But um, no, because during this period, they don't actually prepare the bath for you. Yeah, mm. and also uh, on that note about the beverage services, it's only two drinks per person per day. Uh, if you order a pot of tea, that's considered as two drinks. So I think over there, a little bit, I find it a little bit stingy. <laughs> you know, it's like. Um, how much does it cost, right, for, for that kind of tea? Yeah, coffee? because eventually when it comes in the teapot, right, yeah. it's only one tea bag. Mm. So it's just the amount of hot water they pour in. So even if you order a cup, it's still one tea bag. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, to <laughs> yes. me, it's just weird. Yeah, I think that's, that's about it, I think. Mm. Uh, overall, I think it's a great stay. If you're in KL, if you're looking for a really uh, nice experience, then mm. I think you can book a room or a suite in, in St. Regis. It's, it's quite. Uh, quite nice. We so, enjoy our stay here. Yeah. Mm. And if you have any uh, comments, you know, you can actually drop them down in the comment section below. Yeah. And also do remember to help, help us by subscribing to our channel if you're not already done so. And uh, it will help us a lot. And also, we will hopefully see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Mm.